Hi, in today's class we will be seeing about the coastal structures. They are the structures used to protect the coast and shore from the action of waves. It is a measure of defense. Some of the, coast, uh, some of the protection measures uh, are taken for uh, co to protect the coast, shore, beach and to provide the management solutions. Uh, given are the uh, examples or the types of uh, protection of coastal structures. Coastal, shore protection, mixed coastal or shore protection uh, structures, what are all available and we are using nowadays. Some of the coastal protection structures, what we will be seeing in today's classes, sea dike, sea wall, revetment, emergency protection, bulkhead, grayons, jetties, breakwater and headland. Sea dikes are the onshore structures uh, whose principal function is to protect the low-lying areas against flooding. See, this is a low-lying area. Uh, the level of this area is below the uh, water level. So, sea dike is built in between to protect the low-lying area against flooding. So, it is a protective measure of this uh, coastal area. Then coming to sea wall, it is a structure for separating land and water. It is designed to prevent the coastal erosion and also the other damages which is caused due to the wave action. It may be flooding also. So the pictures shown here are the sea walls, different types of sea walls. They are built by means of different materials. So sea wall is a passive structure which protects the coast against the against both erosion and flooding. Revetments. Uh, uh, the main function of this uh, revetment is to protect the shoreline from uh, erosion. Uh, it is made by means of uh, cladding of stones or concrete or asphalt. So the picture shown here is the revetment uh, which is exposed as well as it can be buried also. See here it is exposed, here it is uh, buried here, here it is buried. So the picture shows the uh, damaged flex slab due to the um, flooding. So, these, uh, this shows the different uh, revetments, uh, different materials. The first one is a concrete block revetment. This is a gabion revetment which is damaged. That's why it is not in a, in a correct alignment. Uh, this one is the geotextiles and tubes uh, revetment. Uh, this is a grain bag and piles. The vertical structures are the piles. Everything comes under the revetment category. It is a passive structure which, pro which uh, protects against the erosion by means of wave action, storm surge and uh, currents. The main difference between the seawall and the revetment uh, is the seawall protects against both erosion and flooding whereas the revetment only protects against erosion, not for flooding purpose. So, these are the emergency protection uh, measures. Uh, it is uh, built by means of whatever the materials which is available. We can uh, instruct some private and public landowners also to build this in case of emergency. Whatever the materials they have in hand, they can use it as an emergency protection measures. This is a bulkhead. It is used to prevent the sliding of land. Here the land is at a higher level when compared to the water area. Area, it uh, prevents the land from sliding into the water. This is called as bulkhead. Bulkhead is used as a separation between land and sea in marine basin and it also protects the shorelines. Grayons are the perpendicular structures, straight perpendicular structures uh, to the shorelines. When the wave action is in this direction as shown in the arrow mark, uh, the updriftment will be happening in this side and the downdrift down drift uh, side will be in on the next side of the perpendicular grayons. So this uh, prevents the um, 
erosion to some extent. So it blocks the littoral drift and the sediment transportations also. So it is also a uh, coastal structure for uh, protecting the uh, erosion. So the picture shows the some uh, grayons uh, which is available. The special uh, shapes of grayons are also available. Then coming to jetties, they are the normal stone structures commonly used for navigation channels. When ships want to enter into the harbor, it will be getting inside through these uh, jetties, through these way. And detached breakwaters. See, the breakwaters are detached from the shore. They are close or parallel to the coast, built inside or outside the surf zone. It is also a uh, protective measure for coasts. Some types of breakwaters are submerged, floating, and special types are available. This is a submerged breakwater. It is under the water. This is an emerging breakwater, which may be a floating type also. Special types are also there, which may be permeable or it can be made of a flexible tube breakwaters also. This is a modified shape breakwater. Here, the shape has been modified to prevent the erosion. So, on the whole, this is a summary. Uh, what type of structure, what, what is the objective of building that structure and what is the main principal function? This is the consolidated uh, summary of the coastal structures. Thank you.